Hello YouTube and hello inhabitant, my name is Luke and today we are going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft bucket server or plugin server or spigot server, whatever you want to call it. So this is super easy to do and I thought I might as well do this because for those of you who haven't seen any of my videos in the past, I actually made a video covering servers in the past. I made a modded video and I also made a normal video on servers um, and as you can see, it did decent for me. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is take our mouse, go to our desktop or pretty much anywhere, it doesn't really matter. You're going to right click, go down to new and hit folder. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it server for right now. Now that our actual server file is made, we want to open up our favorite browser and actually get the server file itself. So go to this link in the description. It will be labeled server file in the description. And you just want to go to your version of Minecraft that you're going for. Obviously, this is for 1.14.3. So I'm going to click download on 1.14.3. It's going to take you to this page and it's going to say you're about to download spigot 1.14.3.jar. I'm just going to click on that. I'm using Firefox, so I'm just going to click save file, but most of you will probably be using Chrome. So it'll go down here around where this Discord icon is, and once it loads in, it'll say, do you want to keep or discard this file? Make sure that you say keep, and then drag it onto your desktop. But I'm using Firefox, so I'm just going to click save file. There it is. So now I'm just going to drag this down here, click the download icon, and then drag it onto my desktop just like this. We'll minimize Firefox for now, and then bring... Uh, we'll bring the server file into our server folder. So here we have our file. The next thing that you, we, we want to do is go to new text document. You don't need to name it anything, so just leave it as is. Double click on it to open it up. And then you're going to copy and paste the code that I have down in the description. This is essentially how many gigabytes of RAM is, or is going to be put into your server. Um, this code translates to about four gigabytes of RAM. So quick disclaimer, if your computer isn't great, then I would recommend not hosting a server on it. You could find some other kind of hosting service, but if your computer isn't great and you can't run Minecraft just on its own very well, then I wouldn't recommend having a server. All right. So now we're going to go to File, Save As, go down here, All Files, then highlight this entire thing and change it to run.bat. That means run.batch, so this is a batch file. Then I'm going to save this, and I'm going to exit out of that, and then we can just delete our file right there. So then what you want to do is just double click on your uh, on your batch file and it's going to bring up this command prompt thing. So right here you'll see that you'll get an error. It says unable to access jar file server.jar. That's because it's looking for a server file that's called server.jar. So I'm just going to press any key to continue. Then take the spigot file, right click, rename, then type in server. And then it will already have .jar at the end. Hit enter. And now double click on run.batch again. It's going to say error, this build is outdated. Please download a new build per instructions from this website. Server will, st will start in 20 seconds. This doesn't actually matter. It will just start in 20 seconds. So we'll just give it a second to start. Okay, so now you can see that it says failed to load properties from file server.properties. Failed to load eula.txt. You need to agree to the eula in order to run the server. I'm going to press any key to continue, and as you can see, that generated some files here. So, the file that we're looking for here is this file right here that says eula.txt. We're going to double click on that, and this is essentially the server terms of service that Mojang, that Mojang puts out. So, copy this link in, and then make sure that your server agrees to it. Then go the, Once you're sure that your server agrees to it, go down to eula, and then change it from false type in true then hold down control and s to save your file hit x and then you should be good okay so now that you have completed the eula you're just going to want to do run.bat again double click on that and it should begin to load in yep there and as you can see here it says preparing spawn area so that it's essentially building your world right now even if this doesn't work i found these two websites that are very helpful they will be the second and third links in the description. The first is how to download Java. It's pretty simple how to download Java. Um, there's this really in-depth tutorial from a company called The Breakdown. Um, 
so essentially this is just a whole tutorial that you can go through and then um, sometimes on your computer there's jar files and they get corrupted I, I, don't, I don't know if that's the correct terminology or not um, but that they kind of like get corrupted so that's another thing uh, what to do it's called jar fix so you can just follow this tutorial uh, these will be the second and third links in the description and once you do that um, they should it, it should work all right so now that that's happened um, we're just gonna type in stop to stop the server um, and it's gonna load in a little bit and we can press any key to continue so now that that's all done the next thing that we want to do is uh, put in our port so double click on server properties and then click on your Windows button so your Windows button might be either on your keyboard or um, on your taskbar so most people's taskbars are probably down here it's just a little bar unless you've altered it it could be on the top the sides the bottom uh, so you just click on this windows icon right here and then type in cmd and then hit enter then this black box will come up uh, waiting for you to input something so just type in ip config no spaces or capital letters and then hit enter and it's going to give you a bunch of uh information about your system so right down here we're going to want to go to ipv4 address right here then look at your ipv4 address just highlight that do Control c you could we can minimize this for right now then go to server ip in here and then do Control v do Control s then hit x and then uh now you are actually able to join your world so now double click on run.batch again this is going to load in and then uh, I'm going to show you that we can actually get into this world. As you can see, we are in Minecraft. So uh, now we're actually going to add our server. So I'm just going to type in server, then go to server address and paste in your IPv4 address again. Hit done. And it should be down here. It says a Minecraft server. Double click on that. And now, as you can see, we are in our world so this server is actually running uh completely on your computer so um this might slow your down uh, your computer down a little bit even for um uh, beefier computers since you're taking uh quite a bit of ram actually and putting it into uh, a server um so yeah it works perfectly it's pretty smooth i don't see any delay so now we're going to get into actually giving it to your friends okay so here's how you get it to your friends so what you want to do is you want to go to the fourth link in the description it's for a program that i have right here called utorrent um for those of you who are new to this there's a thing called port forwarding port forwarding that is very tedious uh but utorrent allows you to do it extremely just like a lot a lot faster and a lot easier utorrent is completely free uh, as you'll see down below um so yeah so what, what you're gonna want to do is go to options go down to preferences right here and then you're probably going to start on general so just go down to connection and then you'll see port you port used for incoming connections so um usually it'll just give you a random port something like this so what you want to do is you want to highlight that hit delete and then do 25565 and then hit apply and then okay so then we can uh, get out of utorrent for then then go to your server properties text file and make sure that your server port, which is displayed right here, is the same thing as what you have typed into uTorrent. So again, it just says 25565. So 25565 will be the default port for the server, so it's just easier to put it in uh, to uTorrent. So now the final step in getting people to actually play on your server is to get out of that. And then you're going to want to go to your uh, browser. I use a search engine called DuckDuckGo. Uh, I just find it to be the easiest and the best, uh, much better than Google. So essentially what you want to do is type in what is my IP. Hit enter. And then you'll see that this comes up. It says your IP, uh, IP address is what's right here. Okay. Um, so obviously this is going to be blurred because uh, this IP, this IP can... Uh, tell you about the user's connection as well as where they live. So don't give this out to anyone that you don't know uh, because it can be super dangerous. They can know exactly where you live um, and they can also uh, send DDoS attacks to your house 
uh, and Wi-Fi, which essentially kicks you off the Wi-Fi. Uh, so it's very dangerous to give this to, uns to uh, people that you don't really know. This is why this server is only for your friends. So don't give it out to people that you don't know. So I'm just going to highlight this give to your friends. So send it to them over Discord or iMessage or pretty much whatever you want. This is the IP that they're going to type into their Minecraft. The IP that you're going to type in your Minecraft to join the server is the IP that we previously went over that's only for your machine. This, don't give them the IP for your machine, this is, give them this IP. Alright, so now that we have actually created our server, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit more of the nitty gritty, like installing plugins, creating custom icons for your server, and giving your server a custom MOTD. So, we're going to start out with plugins since it's the most important thing. So open up your favorite browser, again, I, I use Firefox, and I'm just going to type in bucket with K's, because that's how you spell it. So the, the second thing that comes up is bucket plugins projects bucket. Click on that one, don't click on the first one, click on the second link down, and you should get this. So the first one that I want to do, the, one of the most popular, is world edit. We're going to go to file. And then we're going to download the 1.13.2 uh, the to 1.14.3 version. I'm just going to click download file there. And again, uh, the same thing is going to happen in Chrome where it says keep or discard. Um, because I'm using Firefox, again, I'm just going to hit save file. I'm going to put this down here. And then drag and drop this onto my desktop. So uh, installing plugins is actually very easy. We just go into our server file, double click on plugins. And then just drag and drop our plugin world edit into here. Easy as that. Uh, as you can see, we have world edit bucket 7.0.0.jar. So uh, I'm going to go back to here and we're going to test to see if that works. So I'm just going to run the server just like normal. I'm going to put it in my second monitor and we're going to open up Minecraft. Okay, as you can see, we are back in our server world. So um, to test out my plugin, I'm going to go over to my server console right here. I'm going to drag this over. And I'm going to type in OP and then my username. So my name is NeetoZ. And then hit, I'm going to hit enter and it should say made NeetoZ a server operator. So I'm going to click back into Minecraft. And now I can do slash game mode creative. Just like that. And now I'm in creative mode and I can do whatever I want with the server. So now what I'm going to do uh, to test to see if this works, I'm going to do slash slash wand. And as you can see, it does work. So now I can really just select whatever area I want and I can just do slash slash set stone and it works completely fine. So now that we are done displaying how you can add in plugins, we're actually going to show you how to add in a custom server MOTD and a custom server icon. So let's start out with the MOTD. Go to the fifth link in the description or what I think is the fifth link in the description and it should take you to this website called Minecraft Tools. So to make your custom MOTD, just scroll down until you get to custom servers MOTD. And it'll open up this editor that you can use for making your own MOTD. So let's say I just wanted to say, um, I don't know. Hello, hello YouTube and all who inhabit it. Let's say I just wanted to do something like that. Okay, so now we can actually start adding some color to this. So let's just, um, for what I want to do, I'm just going to add in some like random text on the side. It really doesn't even matter what you actually add in. I just want to make this look a little bit cooler and I'm going to show you guys how I actually do that. So just add in some random text on the side. It really doesn't matter how many characters or what you actually have. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to highlight this first uh, string of random text and then I want to bold it, and then I also want to click on this symbol. This is going to make it, like, go all over the place. It's really weird. Um, so then I think it might be cool if maybe we made that, like, a nice lime green color on both sides. You'll see that this is going to look really cool once it's done. So there we go. We have those two things on the side. So then um, let's make each word, like, a different color. We 
So now that we have created that, we can do create the, or first we should do preview the MOTD. And that's what it's actually gonna look like. And I don't actually really like that because it goes off to the side like that. So I think that what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna hit enter like that. Or no, I'm not actually gonna do that. So um, maybe I want, I think I might just shorten it just so that we can have it look cool on both sides like that. So there there are uh, one, two, three, four, five characters on that. One, two, three, uh, four, five characters on that. So we'll do preview the MOTD. There it is, that actually looks pretty cool. So um, we'll do create the MOTD. And then this is, it's gonna generate this code. So you're gonna wanna highlight over that and then do control C to copy it. Minimize this. Then go to your server properties file. Scroll down to um, almost the bottom. It says MOTD a Minecraft server. That's the default one. Then you just want to copy and paste this in. Um, and there you go. It should have all of our text in there saved correctly. So then we're just going to do control S to save that. And now we can take a look at the banner. Okay, so now that our server has fully loaded, we can go to our multiplayer tab. And as you can see right here, this is the server. It says, hello YouTube and all who inhabit it, and it has that cool spinning text on the side. So that actually looks really good. But now, as you can see here, we have these uh, weird tree things in the side. It's That's pretty much just the default icon. So we can't have that, so we're gonna change it. Okay, so let's get started with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the Windows button to make my icon. I'm gonna go to Paint. I know, Paint. Um, I'm going to click that, and then essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to do File, Open, and then you can basically choose any uh, picture that you want. Um, I'm just going to make it my YouTube icon, so I'm going to go into my YouTube folder. I'm going to do the MBE folder, and then I'm just going to pick this Neato uh, icon right here. And obviously, as you can see, it's a super high resolution image, so it's gigantic. So what we want to do is go to right here where it says image. We go to resize or resize and then go to pixels. Don't do percentage, do pixels. And then it's it's a 1000 by 1000 image. So we're going to put this down uh, substantially. So we're going to go 64 by 64 and it should keep its aspect ratio as long as you have clicked maintain aspect ratio. So it'll change for both. Hit OK. And as you can see, we have a really pixelated emerald. That's gonna be our icon. So the reason why I put it to 64 by 64 is because that is the maximum amount of resolution that your image can have. So we're just gonna give this a file, save as, and then I'm going to go to my desktop, put it into server, um, and then we're gonna call this server-icon.png. So then we just wanna hit save, hit yes on that, hit okay on that, and then we can minimize this. Um, and as you can see here, we didn't mean to have Minecraft open there. I'll minimize this. Um, we have our server open with the server icon inside. Yep, there it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys what this actually looks like. I'm, we're gonna run our batch file, and I'm gonna show you guys what the banner actually looks like. So now as you can see, we are in Minecraft. So again, we're gonna go to multiplayer, and as you can see, we have this beautiful icon along with the hello YouTube and all who inhabit it right there. Uh, so this actually kind of looks like a professional server. Um, obviously it isn't because we don't have ranks or anything like that, but this actually does kind of look like it could be an actual server. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to see me do more videos on this server, um, for example, like I just said, uh, doing tutorials for different plugins like Permissions X and uh, making ranks and things like that, showing you guys how to do different permission stuff like that, then please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, let me know if you actually, if you guys actually want to see more videos, uh, like server tutorials, um, actually like say it down in the comments. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'd be glad to do uh, a video like that. So, um, if you guys like what you see again, please do like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys later.